I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing this door on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Something kind of sus about that. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Cops. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shove cover? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kinda not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly? We've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> Almost had me. Smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him, anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before I lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. As long as Anyone everyone's making money, and nobody's gonna rock the boat. <laughs> you not I like that. The great outdoors, Polly. He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Yeah, this is pretty far. Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't smoke there. Next to the gas station. Idiot, Tom. I did that once. 
Oh shit. Damn it! I took one. Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. I got this. that way I don't want to go through the front right here Punch. He's out of here. Go find him. Checking over there. Yeah, right there. Heard that. All right, that was my bad. Won't come here again, huh? Well, they they kind of disappear on the map. The mini map. I didn't see that guy on the mini map. I shouldn't have done that. I wish I could have done this whole stealth. Tardy. I'm taking this. He's out of here. See where it went. Well, I love the sound design. It's not, that sounds like there's like some distance. Just me and you. One more. Oh, here we go. I thought that was gonna stealth stealth attack him. It didn't. I think this leads outside. Yeah, there we go. a ghost. Sounds Spanish. I got you, buddy. He's <laughs> Not today, buddy. Technically have not been seen yet. Assassin's Creed knock on the door. Won't come here again, huh? He's right there. Yeah, you 
buddy. Wait, he's over here. I heard him. Robert Roberto Gilotti. Wait, do I have to take everybody out first? Eh, gotta try someplace else. Son of a There we go, I had to take everybody out first. Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Come on, you'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money. I got this. See, I can shoot. This guy's in the way. Oh, he's on his side. Wait, how does this work? The shooting. I just keep shooting it. There we go. Oh, I know. Acceleration on this thing is awful. I'm almost there. Calm down. There he is. Oh shit! What happened there? I pushed A to ram him, but it's kind of switched to the, the taxi. off there and then but I couldn't go back to being a nobody wow <laughs> intermezzo so that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight is it just dumb luck didn't feel that way at the time me parking on that particular street Taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? 
It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills a bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. Someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Not Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. 
Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, I'll make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. <laughs> Count on me. Sarah, can I get a drink here? Oh, we're really stealing that car now. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. <laughs> he likes to make sure I have something to drink when I win. Race day approaches. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, <laughs> he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. For you, maybe. But those broads, not so much. Yeah, I think they're going to start resenting us. Now that we got, like, these special jobs. I'm already predicting that there's going to be some sort of betrayal. Usually what happens. Just taking a look around. Cigarette card, here we go. Elise Pepon. Pepon. Pepon? <laughs> Wait, are we in this photo? I don't I don't think so. Hey, Buona Sera, Tommy. Buona Sera. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you t t t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then the next guy... He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Oh, nice. Open the garage to select vehicle. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, nice. I'm taking this. The Samson. What the hell is this? The Bolt? Do they have these cars back then? Maybe. Oh, you can change the color too. Purple. I like that orange. Yeah, there we go. Wait. Alright, we're taking it. <laughs> this thing's fast. First thing we do is ram up police. Yeah, I don't think this is in the... the era. It's Camaro or whatever, it's Samson. This looks actually like the the car in um, Mafia Three. Uh, 
Alright, this is the only time we'll use it. We'll, we'll break the game just for this. <laughs> so I wanted to try it out. Look at that. What are those called? Uh, blimps. That was a really cool scene there, the blimp in the Bobby, background. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Is this car from the future, sir? Tomorrow morning this stuff. Yes, it is. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Here she mm, is. Look at this thing. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Now we got three minutes. I got this. Holy shit. All right, too fast. All right, this is way faster than the Samson. It's kind of hard to control, too. Oh, no. Slow down. How about... I just bumped it a little bit, that should be fine. <laughs> oh shit. 100 kilometers an hour. Wait. Too fast. Catch me. See you in my dust. Angela. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, 
Anything for the right price. Let's just hope Celiari's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Probably messed up with like the main, like the max speed. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> drives a little wonky. And it overheats. Jeez, what did you do to it? It was so fast before. Yeah, this is going to be impossible to drive fast. Man, this is going to be a nightmare. Try to drive a straight line with this thing. It's impossible. Whoa, what happened to that car? <laughs> the police. What was that? Oh crap. Reports call in of a stolen car in Chinatown. That's all you. I think we'll be all right. Just can't run into any police. He's gone. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. Home stretch. Here we go. Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. <laughs> okay, let's get out. Drives like a jalopy. Big day tomorrow.